sun. Alright, it's not perfect weather for this. It rained all night last night. But I'm going down here and I'm going to hit some hidden areas and uh, do some metal detecting. So, I will catch you using the first interesting hole. This is not a big deal. I'm not going to do a whole lot of video. I'm going to try to get enough for a video, but I'm going to try to do a little bit of mind cleansing today. Just metal detect. Have fun with it. So, I'll be back with you there in a minute. Alright. You dug that hole. I'm out along 51. People look at me like I'm nuts. I'm just digging the dig for fun. Kind of gas cap. From a track trailer, it looks like. Yeah, right. onward and upward. Back with these in a minute. First piece of wonderful clad. I'm wearing the hand that I usually dig with. Hey, I'm tired of my, my cuticles in my fingers, right where your fingernail is. For me digging in the dirt barehanded, it tends to get sore. So, I kind of decided to start wearing gloves. I'll be back with these in a short. Tell you what, this gotta be old. Shotgun shell. In the pokey. Alright, okay, wow. It's marked with 925. I doubt it very much if the big diamonds are in there. So that probably means the little ones are both are fake too. But that's 925. So they're still silver. Crazy. So you must have the arm out the window and they plopped off. Alrighty. In the good pocket for sure. Gotta be enough of this. Very cool. Very, 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 very cool. Alright. Long side of the road, man. Find stuff everywhere. Alright. We went from silver to lead. The tire weight for a car. I find it a lot. Nope, that down. Make us up. Another ingot. I got a good bit of lead. Um, the last field I hit had a good bit in it. It's that upper school Allegheny. They must have had lead red yeah lead seals on the rain spout because there was a lot of it on the ground, which scares me that there was kids going to that school. But hey, just a little bit of lead, right? All right. I know, it's getting mad because of that. Like freaking out. Didn't that time, cool. Alright, I'll be back with you in the next hole. Alright, I don't know, I'm sorry. Good God. Great pretty. Yes, I named it three. Looks like an old shotgun thing, but I could be wrong because it's kind of... all the way around. I'll put it in my good pocket. Let's see what we 
cleaned up, but it came up really pretty. I think it's a little bit easier, so it ain't too old. I don't think. I wouldn't think. I wouldn't. I don't know. People looking at me like I'm crazy. Something else in the hole. And it's really big. Oh, that's a rock. Trying not to get hit. I just picture my ex-wife or somebody mad at me, come by and whack me with the door handle. There's a rock. Big chunk of aluminum. Kind of a melt just in today, don't we? Don't check that in the hole. Try to get the next hole away from the road because they're making me nervous. I think they're going on a couple. Alright. Rock and roll, dude. I don't know who he works for, but it's a blue pickup truck. Clown on it. Lumber in the back, they just tried to scare me. But they're not letting Laura louder than the train, so. Oops! Hey, can't go with me. Might have a milk tonight. It's almost a bag for me. But yeah, there's always at least one childish adult that has to blow the horn and yell on stuff. You know. So it's retarded. But, okay. Back to the hunt. I'm going down to these telescope poles and calling it a day because the last couple of hunts, I've really overdone it. Today's starting to turn into one of those. I'm going to overdo it if I don't stop. So, let's go down here, see what else we can find, and then head home. Okay, we're going to go a little crazy today. I'm going to go back in the woods if I can get there. Yesterday, just showed me how spontaneously a find can pop out of nowhere. As you've seen, <laughs> it's a sterling silver ring. I haven't got a chance to have anybody check the diamonds in it yet, but I'm pretty sure they're probably fake. Considering there's what? Eight little ones and one big one, or six little ones and one big one. Yeah. That's a lot. And for somebody to be driving down the road and they just plop off their finger, I bet you that was devastating. Even with the fake ones. So, I will catch you on the first interesting thing that we run into. Alright, two days out. This is my second day. And the first day, I got a sterling silver ring. My second day another ring I'm pretty sure it's junk because there's the ends of this thing is silver ish so it's probably stainless or something like that I'll clean it up more whenever I get home but there's ring number two that's crazy and I'm down here in a patch that I've hunted once or twice before. It's right off the Dusty Boulevard. No people. So I'm not bothering nobody and nobody's bothering me. And we are not exchanging germs. So we're good. But yeah. Ring number two. That's nuts. Back with you on the next one. 
Now the question of all questions, do I go to the original spot that I meant to go to, go across the tracks and down this way quarter mile? Or do I stay here and continue the hunt? And I mean, I'm, I don't even got my headphones on or nothing. Uh, they're still in the bag. I'm like freestyling with no headphones. So I don't know. I'm going to look around here a little bit longer, I guess. I don't got much longer daylight, so I might as well play here, huh? All right. I'll be back with these in a minute. And just so you know, I am not breaking no laws, no rules. We are in a self-isolating moment in time. As long as I'm not around people or large groups are gathering, I'm okay. Um, I'm way down here. Like I said, the houses are right there, as you can see. Railroad track behind me, no houses, no people. I'm staying away from people because that's what we're supposed to be doing. So this stuff don't go any farther. And I really, I, I'm one of the ones that have to watch what I'm doing. I got an 80-year-old dad that I've got to protect. I mean, it, it might tear me and my son up, but it'll kill him. So, the main prerogative is to stay clean and safe. So, that's what I'm doing. I'll be back with you in a minute. I think I've talked about this before, but... It's lead. It's off those torpedoes. They put them on the train track. See, just luckily enough, I had a train for him. Just to have me to explain this. And they put it, like, say where that cone's at on his track. And as he rode up on it, it blows up. And not nothing's going to knock the train off. It's just a warning that there's something not coming. So, you know, there's a problem with the track somewhere. So. Oh, my good Lord. Somebody rode on the side of that. All right. Um. I'm going to keep roaming around here, see what these guys are going to do, and then I might go across the track see what's over there. But for right now, I'm pretty content with metal detecting here. Back with these in a short. I decided I was just going to stay here. Because by the time I get over there and get back, you know, it'll be time to come back. That, I get to watch the yard engine make trains. Ain't that spectacular? It be a bully. A large caliber rifle, but don't quote me on that. All right, back to it. Um, this is junky, as you can see, all the paper and all that in the weeds. Oh my lord! But yeah, that's what we're doing. We're, I think there were houses here, so there's a chance I might run into something. You never know. So I'm gonna bang the heck out of this for a little while, and this might be my resting place for the next couple days. See what we can get. Cause you know you get the garbage out of the way then the good stuff starts to pop up now i want you to realize watch underneath that train there there's a train on the other side of that moving look how quiet it is until it bumps if that's coming at you at 25 mile an hour trust me you're not going to hear it until it's too late so don't play on the tracks children it's not a good place to play I see, I see 62. I thought I seen 66 the first time. Oh my god. 68. First coin. I really was going to guess what that was, but I'm not sure now. Is that a heel plate or a toe plate? Or am I wrong? I think I may be wrong. I don't know. What is it? Anybody got an idea? Let me know. Or is it train? Oop, I broke it. It's iron. I don't know what it is. Put it in my pocket. Maybe if I get eager, I'll electrocute it and see what's underneath. All right, onward and upward. Let's see if we can find something else before it gets dark or rains. It looks like it's going to rain. All right, this is pretty cool. 
I don't know if you can see him. The date. 19 something. Come on, Mr. Lincoln. Tell me who you, what year you were here. What year was this in born? Forties looks like to me, but it is a Wheatay. We got a 1940 Wheatay in the middle. I got stickers where I don't want them. Ow! And I found these ends. They look like I thought at first they were uh, um, beer can bottoms, but they had like cardboard up the side of them. Apparently there was a battery. That's carbon. So, there's a battery there. Okay, let's get that out of the long-term solution here. All right, guys. I'll be back with these in a minute. All right, apparently a few people have found these. <laughs> it's an adver advertisement token. Cascarettes. All right, here we go. This is crazy. Heads I win, Cascarettes always wins. I'm not sure what that says. Best. Okay, it says heads I win, CCC. Cascarettes always wins. Best for bowls. The Whitehead and Hog Company, New York, New Jersey. Engraver, the Whitehead Hog Co., New York, New Jersey. This is the, okay, the one I'm reading about now, I don't think it's, yeah, it is. It's the wing child left sitting on the cabaret ca chamber pot. Yeah. Tails you lose, all going out, nothing comes in. It was a laxative. Cascarettes was launched in 1894 with a big for the time advertisement campaign. This and the second similar token I'm offering are a bit later than that as they are the style of the fire guilt so called dollars of the 1910 and 20s period. That's an old coin though. There's the cherub sitting on the chamber pot. I tell you what though, when it came up that green, oh my god, I thought I had a killer coin. I got a good coin. Alright, so 1910s and 20s. Another version with the reverse identical to the obverse except for the words Tails I Lose was struck by the Swab Company of Milwaukee, a larger production of various tokens and cards. Alright, that is cool. So that will definitely go in my history box, huh? Alrighty. Guys, I'll be back with you in a short. I'm glad I dug that one. That was cool. Alright. I think it's just on top of something. Because it rang up real high. But, it did bring my attention to this. There are people out there collect those. I don't know which ones are the good ones, but <laughs> that's nuts. I 
these are pretty cool. I know where there's four if you want five. Why did I say five? Because I just found another one. There's probably more here. All right, I'm going to look around for a few more minutes and I'm going to head home. It's starting to get dark. And the choo-choo train's leaving me, so I don't have no home behind me that keep me comfortable. I'm just kidding. But I am going to go home here shortly. I'm about done for today. I'm getting more out my back really hurt.